Hi and welcome to another video by your Sonoli Paradox and today we're just gonna look at the progress we're down here at the mage and also leave a few comments upon how you should use your different currencies in game and we can look at my bag currently and remember I haven't spent a single coin on this account but I have 32 real gems as 600k of uh, loose penny and then the soul bound you see it's 4.8 million and 223 at the moment but we actually have more currencies than this to use in order to buy different items and upgrade materials which you can see at resources and they are loads so how should you use this efficiently while you're leveling up we're gonna go through one by one here and see what the different purposes is. So the Pena, the basic currency, is basically what you want to use for getting buffs from your guild because you're gonna have the ability when you join a good guild to go into guild here and then see guild buffs but since we're not in one I cannot show it. Um, the reason why I'm not in Paradox anymore is due to high demand but anyhow from there you can either get like a health buff, attack buff, defense buff or experience buff. So that's your like preliminary use for using your loose penya. It can also come to use when you're in the forge but that's usually where you would like to use your soul bound penya first. It usually asks if it should use it beforehand, use bound items first and if you click that in you can just use the soulbound penny instead and it's more accessible since you get it from um, let's see it's the dungeons one since you get it from saint docks and normal penny let's see if i can go back to the bag again here normal penny usually gets from killing mobs or trade items on the trading post for loose penny the soulbound penny the easiest way to access it is from um, the St. Jokes I just showed you here in dungeons. You can get immense amounts of Soulbound Penny by clearing these and you also get a bunch from just questing your dailies. One thing to keep in mind with St. Jock is that I strongly suggest you group up with a mage before you enter. Make sure to get their buff of 21% roughly somewhere wherever depending on their level of extra attack and while you have that extra attack you also make sure to use the soulbound penny buff inside it's gonna increase your strength by a lot and allow you to get even more penny out of it so that's a very good recommendation that I use and most of the time you just use this uh, penny for upgrading or your daily exchange which you um, will need to buy every day no matter what level you are it's gonna cost you two millions when you are a rebirth three and above so you will not uh, get back 1.8 but either way that's what you want to use your penny on daily and also for all your upgrades unless you for whatever reason decide to use other penny instead but that's basically what you're gonna use your soulbound penny for let's see what's next in the list here uh, the diamonds the loose ones you have mainly two purposes for one is to buy the gacha boxes when you finally stack up a few because the gacha boxes they are so powerful for your own growth and experience but uh, another way to accumulate uh, gems is from killing bosses and those bosses is gonna give you loose uh, items that are not so bound and those who put them action house as you can see I have here these are basically T ones I used to farm these and now I'm just having them pending for sale and trying out the prices when you have a handful of gems you should use these for flipping items in dungeons uh, particularly in a flipping scenario when you know that you picked the wrong one to begin with and you have now a bigger probability to get a good item that is 
a case when you should flip them. And uh, it's usually a risk, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. Uh, either if it's just an item that I use for my own use, or at higher stages you can actually flip and get an item that you can sell for a higher price than you flipped it for. So that's what you're going to be using your loose diamonds. And then we come, ba uh, come back to the soulbound diamonds and uh, what I usually like to do with them in the very beginning is to spend them on let's see the shining crystals so you can evolve your broom to either T3 or T4. When you have it at T4 plus 10 it's very good to directly start uh, accumulating on your honor points because honor points is going to yield more stat points than glory. And this is um, no nothing I'm coming up with on my own here. I have as pros and also game masters of uh, Fliff Legacy and they say that it's proven statistically that honor will yield more stats in the long run. So that is why you would like to take honor over glory and utilize your soulbound gems for it. And soulbound gems you can come across in many ways. So on your to-do list, uh, I reckon it is, or is it the quests, you will have your hunt. I haven't unlocked the hunt here, but that's basically you're going to kill a few mobs just as you do in your dailies and you get 50 each. You will also get great of soulbound gems in the cloud crater area where you basically collect the blue uh, craters for a period of time. Uh, if you can contest during the peak hours, I will see if I can find Aaron Challenge. No, I haven't upgraded uh, here either, but it's basically Aaron Challenges. If you can go there during the peak hours, which is uh, two times a day for two hours, I strongly suggest you do so, but otherwise just make sure to uh, collect as much as you can throughout the day and invest that first into your broom and then into your uh, honor titles. To move on, we come into the quite fun one, the magic powders. The magic powders uh, you do get from salvage items and uh, most of the time you want to use it to upgrade your masteries and they're gonna cost you more and more. They're also involved in some of the upgrading but what I want you to keep uh, in back of your head is that you can use these to yield even more um, items throughout the day. And if you look here at this exchange, what is what you need? I mean, there is so much of items from armor, weapons, elixirs. What is it that you should use your magic powder on getting? I would say that it's a waste to go into the items here. They're definitely just randomized. It's not guaranteed that you get epics, so it's definitely a no-no for me. But if you go into elixirs, this is something you really can consider taking if you have a uh, great surplus of your magic powders. Otherwise, you should uh, do this by orb swapping as it only requires five quest items depending on what mob you're killing. But when it comes to the item exchange, we're definitely looking at a few items you want to get on a daily basis. I would say that you should get the shining crystals you could get the normal crystals here, it's almost that I'm, you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and take them. Boom. Uh, what else is it that I, I recommend you buy? Uh, you could always get some upgrading materials here for your um, items, which I bought today, but it's not essential. And beads, these are quite hard to come across, so if you have extra, go ahead and take them. I can yet not use them on this account, but I'm just going to make sure to keep stacking as I am not decided to rebirth yet. And as mentioned, you get it from dismantling items and whenever you have a surplus, you need to look into that. It's it's so essential to get these small things and you start uh, get the most out of it from day one. Okay, now we're looking at glory. Glory you accumulate from different ways. Example from these 
uh, badges that I showed you before and it's just gonna stack up and you get an each title and with each title you get more stats it works a lot like honor boom and then we get to the honor which is the stat you would like to go first it's the very same concepts here you're just gonna keep accumulating get a new rank and with each rank you get more and more stats this is what you would like to invest in to assure that you get the most CP. And that is usually what you buy from your Soulbound Diamonds when you're done with your broom. Stardust. Stardust you can get daily from using your Soulbound Gems, but you can also use your Magic Dust as I just showed you. I would recommend you take the Magic Dust instead rather than using your Soulbounds on it. It was a mistake I did in the beginning because it's so accessible to get to this menu. But use your ma uh, magic powder rather than Subban gems. And that is basically what you put into your zodiacs on a daily basis. You can see I almost upgraded my first one here and I'm gonna go into the next one. Uh, Zodiacs are quite tricky, I uh, might make a video for that alone if you're not too familiar with it. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do more in depth when it comes to Zodiacs and how to get the most out of it. But we're gonna continue down the road of resources here as we're continuing down. The hearts you really need to get on daily basis from daily exchange. This is going to help you to level up your guardian pets and you do get it from your exchange up here in the corner. Make sure to get these hearts as they will start to pay off in the long run. We could also do it from orb exchange when you go out and kill 5 mobs to get some extra. But I strongly recommend you make sure to get them every single day. We're getting down a list here so we're going to see what else we have to say and it's the craft beads or I mean the bead powders which is the craft beads these I just showed you how to get there you can also get them from secret room which is going to be a, a dungeon on the higher levels I'm not quite sure if I can see it yet here here you see secret room and it's just a possible reward so make sure to use your magic powder once again from the menu which is accessible uh, here at resources so you would go in and exchange for other items and make sure to buy this magic uh, uh, here it is this magic powder it's gonna help out a lot when you do get a bead and for beads we might make another video but that's basically extra stats up on your guardian pets that will help you out a little but that is this video about currencies if you like the content i'm providing uh, feel free to like uh, this video and possibly comment down below what you would like to see next. This has been Paradox and if you enjoyed my videos I recommend you subscribe to the channel. But for now, Merry Christmas.